How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you a gameplay commentary and in this video what I want to talk about are the top 5 things I want to see coming to the Memories of Reach DLC for Halo 5. If you enjoy these top 5 countdown speculative whatever you want com videos, please make sure to tap that like button lets me know you want to see more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you guys want to see in the Halo 5 Memories of Reach DLC content coming our way here pretty soon. And also don't forget to subscribe for future content because I'm always uploading Halo awesomeness. But anyways guys, let's get right into the video here. So, as we all know and I mentioned before in the video, Memories of Reach DLC coming to Halo 5. It's a, it's a Halo Reach themed DLC coming to Halo 5. I'm super excited for it. I liked Reach a lot. It's kind of one of my personal favorites. Uh, even though a lot of people didn't like it, don't, don't get me wrong, Halo Reach certainly had its flaws, but I still really enjoyed the game. And so I'm really happy to see that this content will be making its way into Halo 5. So what I want to talk about is the top five things I would love to see from Reach being put into Halo 5. So let's get right into it. This first one right here, the first thing I'd like to see for number five would be the armor that was in Reach. Obviously, I'm, we'll probably see something like that. I think we really got the Noble Six uh, armor piece. That kind of looks more like an interpretation of his armor, but hey, anyways. Uh, though I would love to see some more of the armor pieces that were in Halo Reach. Uh, even though I'm pretty sure we won't be able to have the same level of customization that Reach did. Just for how Halo 5 is set up. Though I would love to see some certain pieces. You can see me scrolling through the different helmets and things like that. So you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. The different armor pieces, shoulder pieces, things like that. Though I absolutely love to see Emil's helmet make its way into Halo 5. If I ever got that helmet, I would... I would remove my recon helmet right now, even though I know it's an uncommon, but I love recon. And I would put on my Emil helmet, because that thing looks freaking badass, right? Look at this thing. It's badass. Number four thing I'd love to see in the Memories of Reach DLC would be the challenges from Halo Reach. Uh, these were just kind of little side achievements, you know, and kind of like, hey, get X amount of kills within, you know, a certain amount of time or whatever. And, you know, it was, it was a great way to kind of add some longevity to the gameplay. Uh, and maybe instead of using credits like you did in Halo in Halo Reach, you can use your rec points. So you can kind of gamble with your rec points saying like, there might be a challenge like get five sniper headshots in a single match within five games or something like that. So you got to gamble some rec points, but if you get, get the achievement, you actually earn some rec points. So just a new way to, you know, kind of play around with the rec point system and earn more points from just more than just playing the game itself and using rec boosts and things like that. I think it would be a great way to add some more longevity to the gameplay. It'd be, it would be really cool to see this put, like, say, like some challenges with the campaign in Halo 5 to give it some more replayability since obviously the story isn't that great. No one's really, I haven't really gone back to playing it, but the gameplay is actually really fun in Halo 5's campaign, so I'd love to see that added into the game. Number three for the things I'd love to see in the Memories of Reach DLC would be the grenade launcher that was in Halo Reach. This thing is freaking awesome. You can bounce it on walls around corners and have it just blow people up. How is that not awesome? Right? <laughs> this thing would be amazing too to be able to clear out areas and say like Warzone, Warzone Assault when people are kind of held up say like inside of a base. You get like two guys with the grenade launchers, bounce them right in there. There's gonna, you're gonna get like multi kills like every single time. That's gonna be pretty freaking awesome, right? I would love to see that place into Halo 5. I Man, it's pretty cool to see some pretty crazy variations as well. Maybe one that shoots like two grenades, maybe one that shoots like a heat seeking grenade kind of thing, something like that. That would just be a really great variation, a great addition to the sandbox of Halo 5, and I think it would be a great fit because it really isn't anything like that right now in the Halo 5 sandbox. Number two on the things I would love to see in the Memories of Reach DLC would be the map Spire. Uh, just strictly because I would love to just have one chance. I, all I want is just one chance to do a ground pound from the top of the Spire all the way to the ground. How freaking epic would that be, right? Absolutely epic. There were so many times when I was playing Reach back in the day that I was trying so hard to get a clip of me jumping from the top of the spire and trying to get like a back assassination on it, guys. Uh, I was so close so many times, but I never got that clip. But how awesome would it be just to jump from the top of the spire and do a ground pound on somebody? That had to be like a world record for like highest ground pound ever. <laughs> that would just, I would love to see it. Plus, I think the map just itself is really big enough 
to ha have a be have a be a war zone map and definitely like a war zone assault map as well. I think it'd be a great addition to the game, and I just really want to ground pound somebody from the top of the spire. That's really just about it, though. <laughs> and the number one thing I would love to see added to Halo 5 in the Memories of Reach DLC would have to be, you can probably all guess it, it's going to be the Falcon. This thing is like an air tank. It's it's freaking awesome. You can, and plus, I think it'd be a great addition to because all all the vehicles, except for like the Warhog for the most part, are really like individually based vehicles. There's really no teamwork needed on most of the vehicles, like say like the Phaeton, like or the Banshee, or really anything. Or besides like the like the uh, Warhog is like the only vehicle I can think of off the top of my head. Um, so like having like two chain guns on either side and having this thing be able to kind of float around and stabilize things like that, I think it'd be just be a fantastic addition to the Warzone sandbox for Halo 5. Uh, plus I think just. The updated graphics on this thing would just make it look even more badass. Uh, this is probably one of the most the coolest vehicles in Halo. And it's been a shame that it was only in one game. It needs to be like in every game <laughs> because this thing is so awesome. But anyways, guys, that's the end of this video. Let me know what your top five Reach items would be for the Memories of Reach DLC. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to tap that like button. It greatly helps out the channel. Subscribe for more awesome Halo content. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.